Here's an up-close look at our next 2002 Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Roger Aldag. Roger Aldag was one of the main cogs in uh, turning the Saskatchewan Rough Riders from uh, a loser to a Grey Cup champion. He has green blood. Super, super guy. I grew up in Gull Lake, Saskatchewan. We had a farm between Gull Lake and Shawto, and I had a brother and two sisters, and uh, my mom and dad, and uh, we had a little small farm resident, and uh, you go back there nowadays, you wonder how we all fit in the house, but uh, we managed quite well, and uh, it was uh, those years I wouldn't trade for the world. First time as far as football was introduced at Gull Lake, uh, we were always one in the first practice, high school practice, and a big old fat farm boy like myself standing there wondering what position I'm going to play. So uh, we are standing there, and there's a few of us rookies that year and for the high school team, and uh, he throws me the football, and I'm thinking, oh, good, I'm going to be the quarterback. And he says, no, fat guy bend over, snap the ball, you're the center. So <laughs> that's how I started playing offensive line. Roger Aldag played junior football for the Regina Rams before beginning a 17-year pro career as an offensive lineman with the Saskatchewan Rough Riders in 1976. It's a position where uh, you have to rely a lot on the, the guy played beside you. I mean, there's a lot of good football players, offensive linemen that could be great players, but if you get a guy beside you and he looks bad, you make you both look bad type thing. Again, when you're playing alongside good players, it helps you make, makes yourself look a lot better. He's a very competitive person, uh, very intense, uh, wants to excel, will not accept anything but perfection. He will not tolerate mediocrity. He won't tolerate uh, people that don't know around him what they're doing. And it's a trait that only few great athletes have. He wasn't very big, but he was so aggressive and powerful, and uh, he was definitely a smart player. He knew where he had to be, and he knew how to get there. He is a wonderful father. He was always up early with the birds and taking uh, Sherry to ringette and Chris to hockey, and Kelly was uh, the musician in the family. She was in the Lions Band. He worked many bingos, and uh, he's just a wonderful dad, and he's so proud of him. And, uh, that was probably the most important part to him, I mean, is, is his kids. That's just the way he is. I like the rough, tough stuff, so <laughs> I enjoyed seeing him beat up other guys and stuff, so <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> did, he ever, did he ever get beaten up? No. No, of course not. <laughs> He's my dad. He always won. <laughs> so you're aware of that high-pressure gas line out there, Gary, that two-inch high-pressure line that runs to Regina Beach, goes right across the core of your land here. Yeah. I was very uh, fortunate as far as getting an opportunity to work with a company I work with, Transgas, and uh, I've been involved with them for going on 11 years now, so it's been a real smooth transition from uh, yeah, playing football the to the working world. We, we fly our lines once. Turn the kick, and it's picked up by Suter. He runs it out of bounds. The Riders have won it. You know, myself and Bob Pulley used to talk lots about this. One of these years, we're going to win the Grey Cup, and it's going to feel real good. And uh, we stuck with it. And uh, again, we we're very fortunate to win it in 89. And it's something that uh, the fans <laughs> in this province, I mean, they certainly deserve a Grey Cup more than anybody in the world. And I think that feeling of winning that in 89 is certainly something that uh, I know myself I'll never forget. It makes me proud as a peacock to say that I played for Saskatchewan Rough Riders for 17 years.